In today's video, I will show you how to map pad effects to your keyboard in Virtual DJ. This is one of the latest features added to Virtual DJ's custom keyboard mapping that we covered in the previous video. There is a link in the description, so check it out and see other new added updates you might have missed. This tutorial was asked by a good friend from Zimbabwe. Without giving a second thought, the shout out goes to you, my friend. I really love connecting with my audience, so drop a comment with your name and where you're watching from, so that a shout out in the next video goes to you. I'm DJ Zako as always, and if this is your first time here, please consider hitting that subscribe button and turning on the notifications so that you don't miss out on the future content. And to everyone who has already subscribed, thank you. Your support keeps me motivated to bring you more content like this. Now, without wasting any time, let's dive right in. What I'm going to demonstrate here is not going to be exactly how you wanted. They are just basics to give you simple understanding and what to expect from this future. And I believe you will come up with something better than what we are going to demonstrate in this video. In the key box, select your desired key. Then we move to the action box and type pad effects. Add space. Then put double quotation. Then specify the effect you want to use. For example, a count. Close the quotation, add space, then put a value 80%. It is not a must that you should put 80%, you can use any value you like. Here also you can double or triple these values in percentage. What I mean by that is setting the first parameter to 80%, then the second parameter may be 50%, and also the third parameter may be 70%. But just know that when you decide to double or triple the parameters, the behavior of the key changes from that one of the single parameter. What I mean is that for the key with the single parameter, it acts as a toggle, turns on when pressed for the first time and turns off when pressed for the second time, while the other one with double or triple parameters is irreversible. When you press the key for the first time, the effect is activated and you can't stop by pressing the same key for the second time until the song stops. This happens when you specify the number of beats to be affected. To avoid that, just don't specify the number of bits at all. But when you do, then you need to include smart pressed. Like this, one bit, add space, then type smart, underscore, pressed, for it to work whenever the key is pressed down only. Now let's go back to the basic script for this. After the parameter add space, then put one bit. From here you can choose either to apply effects to the vocals or to instrumental only. By including stem effects like this, add space, then open single quotation, and type stem effects. Put a full colon, then specify the stem, for example vocal. Close the quotation. But if you want the effect to be applied to the whole song, you can choose not to include these stem effects. And if everything is typed correctly, this is how the script should look like. Now let's save this and demonstrate with the sound by loading a song to any deck. If I need you now, I can let you go. When my god I can see, I will let you go. As you can see, the effect is only applied to the vocal part of the song because we specified it in the mapping. Feel free to tweak things around to match your style. From the effect, parameter, number of beats and the stem effects which is optional. That's all for today. If there is anything you didn't understand from what we have covered or if you have any suggestions or improvements, let me know in the comments. If you found value in this video, give it a like and share it with anyone whom you think might benefit from it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Till next time.